And as for the prostration of forgetfulness, and this is the prostration that is due to forgetfulness in the salah and not due to doing something intentionally. And there are three root causes for sujood sahu an addition or a deficiency in the salah, or if there is a doubt. Firstly, an addition in the salah. So, Sheikh Ibrahim, may Allah guide us and guide him. In Salat al Dhuhr, he stood up for a fifth rak'ah. Do you, as the congregation behind him, also stand up in his mistake? No, you remain sitting in the shahd. And then you say, you remind him or notify him by saying, Subhanallah. But don't cause chaos in the masjid, a rebellion in the masjid. So there's no need for the person right from the back to say Subhanallah and shout at. The one who is at the front who said Subhanallah is sufficient. Naam. In Masjid al nabawi al-Sharif and Masjid al-Haram al-Makki, and the people are standing far away from the Imam, and they are so far that they cannot even see the first rak'at or the first rows. And they still shout out Subhanallah. Why? Just to tell the people, look, I'm focused, I'm, I'm on it. So the Imam, if he stood up, for the fifth rak'ah, you remain sitting in the tashahud and you say subhanallah. And as soon as the imam realizes for certainty that he is now making an error and he's in the fifth rak'ah, he sits down immediately without doing or saying anything, not even a word. And then the second cause of sujood sahu is a deficiency. So if it is one of the arkan, one of the fundamental pillars of salah which he is deficient in, the rak'ah is invalid until he repeats the rak'ah along with the uh, rukun. If a person he forgot to say Surah Al-Fatiha. So in the second rak'ah, he forgot to recite Surah Al-Fatiha and then he carried on praying until now he is in the tashahud. Now this second rak'ah of his, all of it is invalid. So then he has to stand up once again and recite Surah Al-Fatiha and then complete the second rak'ah again. And then the third root cause of sujood sahu is a doubt. And this we will come to. When does a person prostrate for forgetfulness? The a'imma with us, the imams, they most of the times they uh, perform sujood sahu before the taslim so as not to confuse the people. So before a taslim, a person says Allahu Akbar. And then during the sujood, he says, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. And this is the same tasbih which is said in every type of sujood, whether it is sujood sahu or whether it is sujood tilawa or sujood shukar, every type of sujood, a person makes the same tasbihat. And then he says, Allahu Akbar to sit up and Rabbi ghfir li. And then he says, Allahu Akbar once more and goes into sujood and says, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. And then Allahu Akbar sit up but without making tashahud. Then immediately he makes his taslim. And so Imam Ibrahim, after making sujood sahu, he then begins to say the tashahud. So now he has made a mistake within the sujood sahu. What should he do? There's nothing upon him. He makes taslim. And then we come to sujood ash-shukr. 